Virginia has the best unemployment and economic numbers in the history of the state. If the Democrats get in, those numbers will go rapidly in the other direction. On Tuesday, vote Republican. The governor and LT governor of Virginia are Democrats. Was Apollo 11 faked? In the 1990s, Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky were alone in the Oval Office. A consensual sexual relationship. Within two years, everyone in the world knew about it. Hey had. Whoa people couldn't keep a secret about a blowjob that nobody cared about. Think about that. If the government can't even hide a beach that only two people were involved in, what? Makes you think that they could hide a moon landing, when the entire world was watching and our international rivals had a very good reason to expose any deception? You've been dying for this, haven't you? This isn't giving me any pleasure. But I'm sure you've heard that before. Well you see, turns out there are other countries. Other countries of morons who can't drive stick. I don't much appreciate that sentiment. It's not like every person wakes up on their XTH birthday, is told to pick the transmission type of vehicle they'll learn to drive, and goes. Hmm. Automatic easy, I'ma do that. Many of us don't have the choice. We drive. What we have available. Might be a hand me. Down or a gift from our parents. Might be the cheapest clunk shit off Craigslist. Manuals have been on the decline for decades. So maybe at some point in the past, yeah sure. It was morons. But for a good lot of us today. It's mostly inertia. Calling us morons for not knowing how to do. Something that our contemporary society gives. Us little opportunity to learn is you know I don't. Know what it is. Petty. Callous. Think about raising four children alone without their daddy. Without Marquise my world can never be whole. Again, said Jacobs, asking Judge Bulone for the maximum sentence of 30 years. McLaughlin's father, Michael McLaughlin Sr., told Drechka that he killed his only biological son and that because of you, our lives will never be the same. You deserve to die in prison, he said. In the Bible, it says that in order to get into heaven we must forgive those who trespass against us. At this point in my life, I am not there yet. And if it just so happens that the Lord chooses to take me before I come to terms with this, then I will see you in hell, where you and I will finish this. Mark my words. When I was 15 I was on a date and we wandered around Chinatown in London and went into the most authentic place we found. The menu was characters with very poor English translations underneath. One of the dishes WA egg with the meat bird so obviously I had to order it. It arrived and it was a big round Edenware dish with a gelatinous beige layer of vindictive evil flobbing around on top. Like Satan's lemon curd but the color of a hearing aid and the consistency of misery. I pushed my spoon through this travesty and broke through to the meat bird layer with a damp organic sound as the membrane was pierced, similar to when the eggs open up an alien. What followed was a smell unlike anything I've ever known to be associated with food. It was an oily pungent stench that leapt to the back of your throat and nostrils and coated itself over them. It was both rancid meat and rotting eggs and thousands of years of repressed hated of the white man all at once. Wiping tears from my eyes I was aware in my peripheral vision of my date gagging and recoiling. And a spreading circle of horrified silence moving rapidly away from our table as the smell hit the other diners. Followed closely by a second spreading circle of scraping chairs and a quietly desperate rush for the door. Under the layer of what I now knew to be a biohazard protective eggy depression was a layer of bird embryos that had been fermented in what I can only assume was the acidic urine of the offspring of a jar of sulfur and a carton of primary school milk left in the sunshine on the last day of the spring term and not discovered until September. Tiny whole bird embryos. Beaks half open. Eyes glazed. Drowned in the liquid Jabba the Hutt orgasms. 
That was the worst stench I've ever experienced. Until I watched United's midfield display against Bournemouth. Who is offended by this cultural appropriation other than Hellenistic Macedonians? Cleopatra spoke mainly Greek and wanted to annex more of Africa and Asia into her kingdom. It's like be getting upset over someone from Bangladesh dressing up as William the Conqueror. I'm not sure who gave you my number or the impression that I want to be solicited for literally anything but anyone that runs and keeps scammers, pollsters, and general solicitors or salespeople from invading my privacy has my vote. Please remove my number from your ill-gotten list of innocents. There's two paths you can take when clicking a subreddit link that ends up being fake when you don't expect it to. You can be a big boy and say oh well. Move on with your life, and perhaps leave a more substantial comment or a joke that isn't based on referential humor. Or you can post r slash sub fell for because you have no sense of humor. You're less advanced than the algorithms that plague this website. Philosophers call you a philosophical zombie. Mimmers call you an NPC. Either way, you are decent evidence for the concept that only I am a truly thinking human being and everything else. The absolute rest of the universe is some imaginary hellscape that does not exist and yet is inescapable. As your fingers finish your witty comment and a smile spreads on your face as you think about all your fellow L.E. Redditors bacon narwhaling at midnight having a big laugh about what a funny mim master you are who truly understands the references, any hope for you to develop a real sense of humor slips further away into the decaying abyss that is the part of your mind that perhaps once tried to generate real jokes. Do you really expect any fucking sympathy, you pathetic waste of minerals? There are billions of people in this world, and you think that your worthless little plight will garner any reaction from us? You truly are a leech among the society of calcium drinkers, and with such pathetically weak bones it's a goddamn miracle that your twigs for arms lasted as long as they did. At this rate, I'm surprised they didn't just snap at the slightest gust of wind. Hope that you can live with yourself, knowing that you're worse than nothing. You fucking sicken me.